Okay guys, real quick, the winner of my Quad Logic Zeus Fastener Kit giveaway is Cardell Bolton of Batesville, Mississippi. Man, I appreciate you. I uh, appreciate your support. Uh, bro, check your email. I uh, sent you the tracking information for your package. Once again, I appreciate you, man. Thanks, guys. Got more giveaways coming. Stay tuned. What's up, it's Magnus. Ah, yes. Um, what's going on, guys? Uh, Saturday is nice and beautiful out here today. Um, quick video. Um, you saw the thumbnail, saw the title. This is an update video uh, about my trail snorkel. Over 4,000 views this video has got. Um, just a handful of comments. Um, I had to explain myself uh, as to why I did this mod this way and not the way everybody else snorkels their atvs um but this modification is for the guy like me that has to use his atv for a tool not a toy this is a tool for me first and a toy second i got a lot of land out here I had to pull trailers i garden with this thing i do a lot with this atv um I ride on my phone, my property, I check property lines. I, I, you know, I got trails out a lot through this place. And this is what I do with this ATV. I don't float it. I don't put it in mud up to the handlebars. I don't do that type of riding. I got buddies on YouTube that do that riding. I, I, I watch and support them. I subscribe to their channels. I love those videos, but I don't do that type of riding. I got one comment, this guy said, oh man, it's too low and you need to snorkel your clutch and you know belt intake why is it too low evidently there are a lot of people that don't understand how engines work um look at a motor like a big air pump okay you open up an orifice large enough like this while you're driving it's going to suck more air in to the intake doesn't matter how low or how high it is it's open it's there if you go back to the original video when i did this i showed everybody what the stock air inlet tube looked like it was basically non-existent it was up here being blocked by the gas tank no air can get in there i just opened this thing up now you get plenty of air no issues it's got a tune on it i did a custom exhaust you can go over on my channel and look at the exhaust that modification i did i even showed you how to do an exhaust adapter if you would not want to spend 400 dollars on a name brand exhaust this works for me okay i'm not thanos i'm not trying to snap my fingers and invoke my will on anybody i made that video to show you what i did what works for me that's why and it works great still kicking um but that's it guys just wanted to clear the air um you you can't just assume everybody has to do the same thing like everybody else this is different this works for me and if i want to trade this thing in i can trade it in because i hadn't cut it to pieces snorkeling out the front ruining that storage rack like i said i didn't want to ruin this rack i wanted to keep this because I, I need it i have to use this thing i need this rack like i said just wanted to clear it up but yeah it still works and it works um doesn't matter about the height there's a company called volant they've been around since 1988 look them up and they make all types of air intake styles and some of them i want to put pictures up some of them are down just like my truck down here up under the bumper 
okay, is that too low? I mean, they've been doing it for years. That's where I got the idea to do this. It's from Volant. They even have air scoops that come up above the cab for like the Toyota FJs, the Tacomas. But that's it, guys. I just wanted to give an explanation, give some method to my madness, if that was the case. Hope you guys enjoyed the video real quick. This is video one for today. Video two is going to be about this thing right here. I'll see you in a bit. I'm Magnus. I'm out. Peace.